Filipino black folks and basically did the moon streak or did Jupiter take off the streaking and yeah what you're seeing is what you're seeing because you're even seeing it flaring into the camera lens okay because it's it's a, actually a sphere and this is from fireball Navy's uh, NASA's fireball apologize there NASA's fireball and basically this is live view shot okay and we end up getting this in the nighttime sky now this is the moon and that is you tell me <laughs> it should be Jupiter because it's the biggest thing so check it out and well, I don't know what the hell Jupiter's doing but something's up now we'll go up here real fast and we'll get uh, Navy's map I mean uh, NASA again sorry map here Air Force can be pissed off at me about that one anyhow and as you can see I've seen it and I'm like what the hell so anyway you get to see it I got it saved for, I think it's Huntsville so this is everything that's in the, your constellations and stars in the sky and everything like that that should be bleeding through and everything like that okay and then we go ahead and go to current sky chart and we go ahead and oh my god it's Jupiter okay so there you go on that and I remember we had some gamma rays today but that's not it that's not a gamma ray and then here's the radar live tonight and there's moon depicted on there and I guess basically we're getting this hot something uh, in and I've got my list of my because those are abbreviations and it's gonna take me a while to find that that doggone thing I don't have so many links so anyway let's see what we got for objects real fast so it's an NOO and celestial chart are in the and as we look here we got an object ahead of it so and basically we got a movie of it and we also are going to have some earlier stuff of it coming in okay and that's a comet that comes across and you gets froze there and as I can if I can even point fast enough we're looking at that there below the moon and we're gonna have another shot of it because it was another asteroid or something came up and it'll freeze and I'm not worried about even freezing the object. You should be able to just freeze your, when you're in your player. Well, like it's moving. It's moving pretty fast. So anyway, pretty big too. So now, now that comet was 3.56 AU out. So that's three and a half times, a little bit over three and a half times. So three and a half times the distance to the sun. And then we had it also coming in. You can start to see it come in here. But we're looking at of uh, some kind of a You'd have to almost figure since it's a comet, and then what we see, we m would more than likely call it some kind of an Oort cloud. Okay, so we're going to have it more coming in there. On this shot, you can see something very interesting, and also on here. So I'm going to get the movies on these here and play them. Uh, what's looking the most interesting is probably the beginning of it. it is something like some kind of beginning of it right there on that and you, you can blow this up to full screen and look at this so I'm going to apply to play I'm figuring the most interesting thing is because we got a comet around it in the moon here in this angle here on this shot so I'll play this movie so this would be underneath the distance of the sun because it's point, 0 0.742 IU so so we're getting some real weird action in the sky I gotta get my arrow out of there so I get the double click thing the heck out of the way so we got some wild stuff now take note of the triangulation of these dots in the field of view here we got a triangulation here and we got this here and we also have this here we may be getting what we've been looking for so anyway this is nighttime sky but as you see 
uh, New Mexico sky is clear too, so we're getting some crazy views of this stuff. Now remember, the moon is right there. The moon is there, and also Jupiter's doing whatever it's doing with some kind of a reflection of light towards it. But remember, Jupiter's a long ways away from the moon tonight too, so it's going to be. A, we're going to want to see uh, tomorrow's footage of the French telescope over in Hawaii. Now the other one thing is, is look at this here and here. When I put my arrow out of the way, you're going to see that triangulation there. So we've got three huge objects of triangulation here and some wild stuff in the sky. And as I move my marker away, you get all the... that double click will go away. Come on, get out of there. There you go. And then you've got the box of the object that came by that close. There in the middle. And then whatever the heck starts forming, whatever this thing is, our winged whatever, yeah, and it's a movie, so let me play it. And there it goes, and it does that action. So I can just hit, get, stay here in the middle, and not even worry about it, and hit play, and you're going to see that come streaking across the sky. So, one more time, and I'll pause it a little bit. It stays viewable for a, quite a long time, and I gave you the distance, that IU, seven point something. So it's a, between us and the distance of the sun easily. It's not even three quarters of the distance of the sun. New Mexico skies, and basically we're going to call this the Thunderbird because something's up in the sky. And you have your triangulation too, and then this thing moved. Okay? Because it's moved, and this I think this is, if we look at the clocks, you're going to have to pay attention to the clocks as I move my tick thing out of the way, get rid of everything. So you're going to have to look at the clock and back the movie up and see what the timing. You guys can just go by the clocks because it's in the same place, New Mexico sky video. So there it is, the object frozen, and it's frozen above that Oort cloud or whatever the heck that is out there. We've seen that Oort cloud before, but we've never seen it look this close and this unique to us before. It plays real fast. Okay. Now the other thing is, I got to hit play and get you to pay attention to this too. We've seen this somewhat before too, and so this is up there too. It looks like two constant comets all the time. So. Okay, now we got our magnifier on, and I don't have the comet glued in because you could always zoom in to go to Fireball and look at that comet alone because you can see the streaker. But to check this out and check what we're very much interested in right there. And let me pop up to it some more. And remember, see this object here, and then what rotates around all this stuff. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to get to check this out here and see what that is along with what this is here in... Uh, We'll go all the way out, and we're going to go take a look at the. We'll just put up the Navy map, the NASA, the Fireball map. This is New Mexico sky, and remember, you can see this triangulation here. I mean, you're not blind, and you've seen it in the last shot in the last movie that was in here in this movie. So I'm just put, leaving it over there to click. So hopefully, this, this crap will disappear, so you can just see this New Mexico sky thing. And now it's not disappearing. The player's not disappearing, but tag on it anyway. So all across the sky, North America, and, and basically North America, and the world, and in the United States, we're getting this stuff. And these are comets with asteroids. It's not that much funky, but what we're seeing with this action here in the nighttime skies is pretty wild. So let me get up and see what I'm going to do for a video. I mean, on pulling another video out of this stuff. And you can freeze this stuff. You can go to Fireball and get all these pictures. There you go, folks. That stuff's up there in the nighttime sky. Clear as a bell. That's not clouds. That's clear as a bell. That stuff's all up there. So all this stuff is up there. Nighttime sky. Fireball's catching this stuff. And we'll try to freeze this one again. And I'm not sure if I'm... is New Mexico sky, and I don't know if I screwed up and went back to the same one or something like that. Or is it a different one? Where does it get frozen in the box at? But you see our all kinds of terahydrons, tetrahydrons at a different angle. And then all this stuff that's up there. And then we're going to get ready and get the map on here too. This one's so fast that they didn't freeze it. I'm not even sure where this one streaked across the sky. Because they didn't freeze it in the box. So this one must have been hella fast. Well, so we'll go to the nighttime sky map. So no matter what it is, it interacted with the moon tonight. And we'll go to this shot here in a second. Because it's a live shot. I just clicked the map. We should have the map down here. And now i got to zoom out a little bit real fast. It should be able to just boom. 
Hopefully get it like 150, we'll get the whole map, and then we'll just drum up here. So all this stuff's out there, you got to connect this, connect your dots with what areas it's coming out of. And I apologize about the uh, meteor uh, showers. You'll have to look those initials up and you can connect up with whatever the heck they're coming out of. Whatever solstice they're coming out of. Meteor shower. Uh, I'll have that in the next video. Be able to, but let's go ahead and get this. I gave you the graph. We'll get this shot. Look at this thing here. There you go. That's the moon and whatever that was. It's a little bit of cloud action to it. A little bit of clouds, but all the other stuff was clear sky. So I think I can get 200% and look at that. Everything that's in the sky with the moon. So there's stuff up there interacting with the moon too. As you, and you see you get all these signatures here of the stuff that's in with the moon and so forth. The nighttime sky. And this shot here was in... Where am I getting this one from? This is... I think it's New Mexico sky also. North Georgia sky this was from. So you get a tighter and terra uh, triangulation there and triangulation here and triangulation there and here's a list of meteor showers that are all year round this could be some of them that are listed the letter is in front of what it stands for okay but then NASA's got theirs too so then so we're interested in NNOO and GEM so here's what's coming out of that shower there so it's a meteor shower, and I didn't like what that happened there, but I couldn't help it. There, we ain't gonna wait it, time edit, and that's what you got going on there. That's a different one there, but that's basically what we were one of them we're seeing. And then also, so N O O, we got to look it up. You're gonna, it might be northern towards, but I don't think so. So it might be coming out of a diff, out of season. So it could be. Hmm. You see here, before the predicted peak of NOO, so we got some unusual activity. So we got, you see, we're getting some stuff of late, because that's basically peaking right now, late. Because one of these meteor showers is heavy, and this shirt looks heavy here, because you can even see the pink, it's hot and heavy. A month late. All right, technicality is a half a month late. So keep an eye on the skies, folks. And basically, this is up in Soho Satellite, and this is the solar panel, and this is the sun's out behind the solar panel here. And we're also going to have a video showing that more than likely we found something that's more than likely, absolutely, anyway, it is absolutely, we've more than likely found a planet that is bought by Mars and Mars is up past this solar panel also and more than likely that's the magnetical you're seeing there and also the what we ended up finding uh, from ahead and you got blinky there you can't miss it and basically we'll just pump up to it real fast again I showed it at the la end of the last video too we'll just go up custom and we'll just hit in and we'll put 777 and you see the clock would run in there I didn't mess with the clock it stops when I go ahead to zoom up but we'll pop over and take a look at Blinky and we'll be keeping an eye on Blinky because we know we'll keep getting these shots and as you see Blinky's up there and there's a lot of stuff that blinking at the same time and it's bright and it's blinking right through the solar panel and watch the other videos too folks it's all there and basically somewhere that could be now that's probably not it but there's objects here that are on the other side of the solar panel that are not farther out than Mars. And Mars is the only thing that's supposed to be up over there by the sun right now. Okay, and I can prove that to you here. Watch. But this sun's full screen. Everything's here and there's Saturn. And check this out. You got this over here blinking. And this has the footage of the find. And let me show you on a, a chart. You watch that video and I pretty much explained it to you. Basically, there's the sun in the middle and Mars is over there. And there's something out here. 
and there's nothing out there. As you can see, I can move over here, and there's nothing back there behind Mars, okay? I'll even go down like this. So there's nothing behind Mars there, okay? So, what is it? There's something. Go watch that video. It's not Neptune or...